A bold political mailer went out last week to voters in West Boise, and it targets state Senator Fred Martin, who's up for re-election in November. It claims Martin is a, quote, creep who snuck into a girl's bathroom at a Boise high school. Joe Paris spoke with Martin's legal team, who say the claims on the mailer are defamatory and untrue. People living in West Boise received this political mailer targeting District 15 Senator Fred Martin late last week. The mailer, sent by the Freedom Man Political Action Committee, labels Martin as creepy and includes excerpts from two Boise police reports involving Martin. Now, those reports stem from 2012 and 2014, when Martin was questioned about visiting Centennial High School at night after school hours. Martin was never charged with anything relating to those reports. The excerpts from the police report on the mailer detail a 2012 allegation that Martin went into a girl's bathroom inside the high school. Martin's attorney, Dave Leroy, says this mailer is a falsehood created and issued with malice. The allegations and the attack leave out entirely the context that the senator went to see the end of evening basketball games where his niece as a visiting basketball player uh, was uh, in the building uh, at a game and uh, the loss of that context uh, to suggest that he's inappropriately uh, in or around a high school in the evening is where this attack begins to create falsehoods. Martin said in a 2012 interview with police he did not go into the bathroom but merely looked in to find someone to ask about the score of the basketball game. The 2012 police report was filed as informational only. In 2014, Martin was questioned by police after being seen at Centennial High School late at night. An investigator in a 2014 report said, based on the 2012 report he had at the time, he believed it was possible that Martin had hidden a recording device inside the school. Now, that quote was included in the mailer. However, it leaves out the results of the investigation. Leroy says, no device or wrongdoing was ever found. The, the, the police were very aggressive in checking to see if there was any kind of uh, issue or allegation or crime committed by anyone who was in or around uh, that restroom after hours, uh, the senator denying that it was him, and they found no such device. Martin told police in 2014 he was notified by two people that he was under investigation in relation to the 2012 incident. Martin says he went to the school in 2014 to check on claims made against him in the 2012 report. Now, one of those claims is included on the mailer, saying that Martin was seen hiding under a tree outside the school in 2012. And Martin maintains he did no such thing. The 2014 report concludes that there was some suspicious behavior, but no criminal activity found. Leroy points out that is not included in the mailer. To fail to put in the bottom line of the report, which says uh, that the police officer identified no criminal activity that was prosecutable and the investigation would be closed, uh, is, of course, malicious and false. Leroy says this is clearly a malicious attack by the Freedom Man Political Action Committee ahead of the election. One of the problems when you make a personal attack against a politician, particularly late in a campaign is that there are very few opportunities to correct those allegations. What we did demand was that they remove the offending material from their website and that they send out a second mailer to each and every person that got the original mailer apologizing and retracting the false allegations. All right, Joe, is there any word from the Freedom Man PAC as to, A, why they sent this mailer out or their response to what David Leroy has said? Well, Brian, I reached out to the Freedom Man Political Action Committee earlier today via email, tried to get in touch with them. They have yet to respond to my questions and email, but if they do, we'll be for sure to update this story. Another note uh, I did want to add to this story is that Fred Martin's political opponent, uh, a man named Rick Just, who was running in District 15, he uh, sent out a release today adamantly saying he had nothing to do with this mailer. The Martin campaign knows that his campaign has nothing to do with this mailer, and he says, you know, there's really no place for personal attacks like this in Idaho politics. Again, Leroy has asked the Political Action Committee, the Freedom Man PAC, to take down their information on the website and also send a follow-up mailer correcting what they believe is false and wrong information. So is it still up on their website? 
Yes, there is still information up on the website. There's also a digital copy of that mailer that we showed from a viewer that is online. There's also uh, extended police reports as well. And I also verified with the Boise Police Department that the police reports that are on that website are authentic. All right, thank you very much, Joe. We'll see how this plays out before November 3rd.